Hello and welcome to Tameside 60 Second News. I'm Elena Sayers. The Council has announced that Chief Executive Janet Callender will leave her post at the end of March next year. Mrs Callender, who was awarded an OBE in the summer for her services to local government, said she will leave the Council at a natural watershed in Tameside's journey. Executive Leader Councillor Roy Oldham is to highlight the Council's achievements as well as priorities for the coming year in his annual State of the Area Address which will take place during the normal council meeting next week. The speech will be webcast on the council's website from 6pm next Tuesday evening. Nearly £1 million is to be spent by the Tameside Sport and Physical Activity Alliance over the next two years on getting local people more active. The unique programme, which will add momentum to the council's Get Moving campaign, will target teenagers, families and adults who are not as active as they once were. More people will be able to find out about Tameside's rich past thanks to two new heritage features. A bronze heritage map and a portrait of a local historical figure, former Mayor George Kenyon, are to be unveiled at the double celebration at Duckingfield Town Hall. Tameside Town Centres are preparing to be transformed this winter with their best ever Christmas light switch-ons. For further details of when each town is lighting up, please see the Council's website at www.tameside.gov.uk. And finally, congratulations to Curzon Ashton and Drawsden Football Clubs for going into the draw for the second round proper of the FA Cup. That's all for now. See you next week.